All right, hello, wine-drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday, and I'm always happy to see the folks from Domain Serene Winery. This is one of the benchmark producers of Oregon, and Ken and Grace Evanstadt started the winery in 1989, and since then, they have just gotten better and better with their winemaking process. The wine's very similar stylistically year after year, and uh, the winery's located in the Dundee Hills, which is, you know, kind of a lot of people consider that the Grand Cru vineyards of the Willamette Valley, and these guys do source fruit from other vineyards, and they're even making a more entry-level wine. The Yamhill used to be their entry-level wine, but, you know, it's very critical today when you're offering wines to restaurants to pour by the glass. They have to be in a certain price point for a lot of places. Otherwise, they don't even consider them. So they've created this product, just an entry-level Willamette Valley Pinot, which is uh, it's a, the, the first time they've made this blend. It's a one-time only blend. It's from many different, uh, multiple sub-appellations of the Willamette Valley. But who knows, they'll, they'll probably come out with this wine again in 2010, I would hope, because uh, you, know, you want to have a product that can put your winery in the by the glass game and uh, this wine is I mean textbook domain serene really uh, I mean I don't notice a huge difference from this in the yam hill but you know you get a lot of exotic spices mint cinnamon dried floral notes raspberry red cherry fruit really silky smooth like velvet on the tongue with layers of spice and nuance to the finish leaves the tongue salivating for food exactly what you want in a buy the glass product but all these wines are like that really lovely balance and complexity in this wines and lovely length on the finish the yam hill cuvee which uh they've dubbed this the little sister to the evanstadt reserve is a blend of each of their different vineyard sites that they own it's got a lovely spice to the red cherry fruit with a uh, like potpourri of dried floral notes truffle earthy nuance very complex more and more coming out of this glass as this wine opens up and this 2009 vintage an outstanding vintage in oregon fresh and zesty with lovely silky smooth like velvet on the tongue, the tannins here, an array of fresh earth, exotic spice, red berry fruit, great length and balance on this one, and definitely a step up from their new entry level here, but uh, I mean, it's $10 more, it's a little step up in price as well, this wine's got at least five years to go in your cellar though, really nice length on this, the 2008 Evanstadt Reserve, where is it, we're missing the bottle, it says we have an inventory, this is a wine we always have on the shelf, we will reorder this first thing next week, because it is one of my favorite wines in the store, period. One of the best Pinot Noirs made anywhere in the world. We'll put it up blind against wines like Domaine de Romano Conti. Anything, this wine will hold its ground. It's the flagship cuvee and a defining standard by which Oregon Pinot Noirs should be judged, in my opinion. The 2008 was a warmer year. This wine is showing the fatness of that year with generous black and red fruits on the nose. Just an exotic array of spices, clove, fresh earth, truffles, some toasty oak spice in this as well, vanilla and toffee. Really complex bouquet of aromas. Really lovely nuance in this wine. An explosive wine on the palate. You really notice the heat of this vintage and just wonderful structure these guys must have picked at the right time to keep that acidity level balanced here and just layers of that nuance in the nose showing through the finish most excellent juice one of the greatest pinot noirs uh like i said year in and year out made in oregon this 2008 domain serene evanstadt reserve and then the rock block syrah this was uh, one of my great experiences this year traveling to Washington and Oregon. I didn't realize I was going to be in Oregon, but the Walla Walla Valley, one-third of it is located in Oregon. It's right on the border of Washington. That's where this wine is from, and that's where wines like KU's, Rainbana, all these wines that are popping up now getting huge scores. And uh, they make around 1,000, 1,000, uh, um, I'm sorry, that's going to make 1,000 cases. I don't know how many cases of this, but you know, they've changed the, the routine on this to where now it is a non-vintage wine, which I don't understand understand why they would create a non-vintage product and nowhere on the bottle does it say what batch it's from it's a little confusing to find wine consumers but the wine is in the bottle man we showed a 99 vintage of this at our vintage to raw tasting it was one of the wines of the night absolutely stunning and uh you really get uh, more of a northern row nest to these Syrahs from this area. And they've got these round stones that look like you're in Shetton up to pop here that help to hold the uh, the heat down at the earth and keep the grapes ripe. This wine's got a lot of savory herbs, kind of lavender floral nuance to it, 
dark cherry, plum fruits, black smoke, dark cocoa, really silky smooth on the tongue with layers of dark berry fruit, exotic spices, pretty floral notes, a bit of that savage that you find in the Northern Rhone, a little bit of the animal, just excellent juice at $33, one of the better values coming from that part of uh, Oregon and Washington, that Walla Walla area. And that's what I had to drink with our friends from Domain Serene. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember... Always drink the good stuff first.